Yo, what up? It's just Mike, and you're another episode of the ABV. Now, this one, we kind of slowing things down a little bit. Um, nice little regular ale. Uh, actually, taking it back, I've had this beer before. Um, just slowing things down from the Christmas review. We brewed a very good beer uh, by Trader Joe's. It's their 2011 Vintage Ale. It's made by Unibrew, and if you know anything about Unibrew, you know they make some kick-ass beers. Uh, but this one today, uh, this one is an imported beer from Australia. It's the biggest brewer in Australia, maybe the only one, um, is Foster's. Now, it's not their lager, it's their premium ale. And it's the Foster's premium ale. Comes in at 5.5% ABV, um, the big ass uh, oil can. <laughs> I've had this one before. But I was even eager to try this again, seeing as I've had a lot of great beer since then. But um, I'm going to pour it up today and uh, you know, tell you what I think about it. Um, this is the important one, actually, from Melbourne, Australia, not from Canada. Because they do do some brewing in Canada. So this one is right from the horse's mouth. Um, so I'm going to have my little pint glass here today. And a can, don't need to pop the top. So I'm going to... Pull a tab, pour it up, and uh, let you guys see that. And it's pouring up really nice, really clean, really filtered, really carbonated. Okay. <laughs> and you see in that head there. Okay. Kind of poured it a little off kilter. So it's a little bit more head than I wanted, but more head is always a good thing, right? <laughs> As you can see in there, it's really micro bubbles, real micro, really carbonated. You can see me through there, I bet. And um, it's really a nice, like, orangey amber. This kind of like looks like a Vienna lager to me. Um, let's get to the smell of it, though. Big apple, apple malty uh, scent on this one. Really no detection of hops. Really, it's really dormant if there's any in here. I'm not pretty sure they do, but there's nothing like overpowering about it. They say on the uh, bottle, it's ale with caramel color added. So, uh... I don't know, I know, I'm pretty sure they use caramel malts, but I don't know the ingredient list in it, but it looks damn good though. Nice streaming carbonated bubbles. Pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and taste it, man. Oh, that's nice, man. Really like light, really crisp, refreshing. There's a nice, like, caramel touch in there, along with uh, very much uh, a nice, very mild bitterness. Um, I think this one is classified as an ESB, like extra special bitter, but it's really not that bitter. But there is some bite to it. Now, the hops, you don't smell it immediately, but you definitely get it when you taste it. It's a nice, like, really cool, refreshing kind of beer. Really light, 5.5% um, sessionable. You can have a few of these. This big ass can. <laughs> you can definitely drink more than one of these cans. <coughs> um, it's pretty nice though, man. I remember having this a long time ago when I was just getting into craft beer and thinking that this was a decent offering. And when I think about it today, pretty much the same thing. You can get this anywhere. I mean, you can go in any grocery store. Uh, I got it out of my local uh, supermarket, so I'm pretty sure you can find it. It's a really nice beer, really decent, and I encourage people, matter of fact, I'm encouraging people to try to get out of that BMC mind state, you know? Uh, they push those kind of beers on us, so that's what we're used to drinking, but, and honestly, it's almost like someone telling you that McDonald's is the best hamburger when it's clearly not so these beers are a little more forward 
a little more stronger, a little more tastier, and it's definitely worth it to open your mind up and see that it's more out there than regular lagers, you know, because that's what they kind of like force feed us here in America. Just drink the Bud, drink the Miller, drink the Coors. Not, not that it's anything wrong with those beers, it's just that beyond that <laughs> boundary, there's so much good shit out there. So, it is a good beer, man. I'm going to pour me another one. I'm going to actually pour me a couple more. And I'm going to enjoy my beer, man. You enjoy your beers. Until the next time, it's just Mike. You've been in the ABV. I'm going to finish that. You get back to what you're doing. And I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. It's all kind of good. You got to try it. All right, till next time, guys.